physics, mathematics, chemistry, and philosophy. Great minds throughout history have formed our understanding of how the world works and how we fit within it. There is an inherent curiosity in humankind that drives us forward. It leads to scientific breakthroughs and new ways of thinking. Genius comes in many forms and has been displayed in many people. But perhaps none is more well known than one. This is Einstein, his amazing life and incomparable science. All players will take on the role of Einstein, but at different points in his life. One player will inhabit young Einstein, while another might play as Einstein during his latter days. Everyone has their own set of idea tiles and inspiration cards. They will contribute to the big idea in the middle of the table that represents the cumulative great work of Einstein over the course of his life. You begin the game with a set of idea tiles and inspiration cards. Each turn is very simple. Take two idea tiles and add them to the great idea. The tile you place must match at least one of the sides of a pre-existing tile which is indicated by the single or double line. The goal is to try and match the shape and configuration of one of the inspiration cards in your hand. If you're able to do so, you place that card aside and you will gain the number of points indicated on the card at the end of the game. If you used another player's tiles in the formation of your inspiration, they will receive star tokens which are worth one point each. In this way, the Einsteins will add ideas to the big idea and his cumulative work will grow in size. Due to the strange shapes of the tiles and the lax restrictions on placement, the ideas will expand in odd and unpredictable ways over the course of the game. It also allows for younger Einsteins to build off the work of older Einsteins for inspiration. The time paradox that this creates is probably best debated by actual geniuses, and not someone who spends their free time making board game videos. For a game based on one of the greatest minds the world has ever seen, it's decidedly simple. There's nothing wrong with that in and of itself, and I wasn't expecting a complex menagerie of systems either. I mean, the word casual is right on the front of the box. But I was hoping for a less pedestrian game experience overall. I found, more often than not, players had their heads buried in their hand of cards trying to recognize where those patterns could be made on the table instead of engaging with one another. Perhaps you could learn to place the tiles in such a way as to inhibit your opponent's options, but that would require memorizing the abstract shapes in their inspiration cards, which isn't something I'm keen to do. The most interesting part of the game comes in the form of the major theory cards. These are common goals that are available to all players to achieve during their turn. Instead of merely matching a pattern, they ask you to accomplish other things such as connecting four different types of idea tiles. Importantly, they also don't award victory points tokens to your opponents when you use their tiles to accomplish a major theory. While the major theories introduce a much needed decision point in the game, and does allow for a little bit of gamesmanship, I found, especially at high player counts, that the game state was too volatile to allow for any real strategic play. You simply play the tiles that give you the most points at any given time, and hope that the cards that come up best suit you. And yet, I can't entirely dismiss Einstein, mainly because of its stellar production. As a physical object, the game absolutely shines. The art is charming and memorable. Every inspiration card has an interesting historical tidbit relating to Einstein's life, and the premise of having players inhabit Einstein at various phases of his life is novel even though the game doesn't quite capitalize on it. I wanted more out of the game to be sure, but it just might have a place in my collection as a physical relic to a most noteworthy man. <laughs>